This is Drake with the flute. We're going to be doing book two, lesson seven. Book two, lesson seven. Okay, um, lesson seven. Um, song number one, of course, I hope you already warmed up with your scales and all that. Okay, song number one has a lot of the grasshopper rhythm in it. And you notice that the very first measure just has hopper, where there's the grass is a rest. Hopper, grass, hopper. So the, the starting off, it's almost like a pickup note on song number one. Um, one and two would be a rest, and then you come in with hopper. So to lead it off, I'll go one and two, hopper, grass. Everybody warm up the first three notes of song one. So I'm going to lead it off with one and two. So I'm going to lead it off with one and two, and you come in on the hopper. One and two. Yeah, kind of cute. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, at first you might want to just listen to the video. Maybe put your flute on your shoulder, look at the music, and try to move your fingers. But just listen to me play it, because these songs are getting more difficult. Okay, song number two. This one starts with that same kind of rhythm, hopper, as a pickup note. But this time they draw it truly as a pickup note. Hopper, grass. Okay, so I'm going to lead it off with one and two. Song number two, everybody find a B flat. So I'm going to lead it off with one and two. One and two. There's a lot of rests in it. There's a lot of those eighth rests. They look kind of like sevens. Those are eighth rests. Each is worth half of a beat. Okay, check the key signature, um, B flat and E flat. Do you trust yourself to remember to do A natural? If you don't, feel free to draw a natural sign by the A's to remind yourself A natural. Um, in measure eight, there's some accents over it. Remember, it means flick your tongue a little harder than usual to make them come out loud. And then the very, very last note of song three has a fermata. So on that one, I'll be holding the D long and just watch me, um, and I'll give you the cutoff for that fermata. So T, 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 T. Everybody warm up high B flat for song three. Song three, everybody. One, two, ready, go. challenging one because of the rests. Okay, song four. Song four, check the key signature. And as you scan through song four, do you see it has a lot of accidentals? There's a bunch of times where you have to play F sharp. Um, in measure one, two, three, four, five. Measure six, there's a spot where you have to play a B natural. Okay, so again, a lot of accidentals. If you feel like you're, you know, if you want to write anything in to help yourself, remember to use a pencil. Feel free to draw things in to help you play it better. A challenging song. It's by the famous Russian composer Tchaikovsky. The name of it is March Slav. March Slav. Tchaikovsky also wrote the wonderful Christmas music called The Nutcracker. A lot of different pieces put together is called The Nutcracker. Do you remember the melody of da 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 that one's a famous piece um by Tchaikovsky. This one is also really beautiful. It's a full length orchestra piece, meaning the whole piece probably takes at least 30 minutes to play. This is just one small chunk of it. If you have some free time, I encourage you to look on the internet for March Slav and listen to the whole piece of music. It's really beautiful. Okay, song four, check the key signature again. Lots of accidentals. Maestoso means slow and proud. Ta ta ti ti ta. Everybody warm up high G. <laughs> Song number four. One, two, ready, go.
that one. Okay, song five, another beautiful piece of music called Morning by Edvard Grieg. It has a repeat, so I'll play this one twice, and I will play it twice. Notice a bunch of slurs. I will do the slurs. If you've never played this song before, maybe leave them off the first times to get your fingers going to get the rhythms right. Um, I am going to do it with the repeat, so maybe first time do it without the slurs, and then maybe the second time when I do the repeat, try to do it with the slurs. Okay, um, warm up the first three notes. Check the key signature. There's no A's in it anyways. Okay, song number five with the repeat. Ready, get set, go. okay to break a slur. It is okay to, to, to break a slur and grab a breath. You might have noticed that first time through it I did break a slur to grab a breath. It's okay. Okay, the next one. Heroes and villains. Heroes and villains. Um, please notice the repeat sign on the first line if you want to draw those extra wings on it. There's a first ending and a second ending. Um, measure 10 is called canon. Um, canon is not the big gun. It's a musical type of canon, <laughs> and it's the similar thing to a round. So um, I want to remind you that the last song on every lesson, Heroes and Villains, Villains in this situation, has a recording that goes along with, with it, and I already sent those to you. I encourage you to listen to the recording and maybe even get out your flute and try to play along with it. But at measure 10, there must be some sort of round um, where somebody has that same melody but one measure later or maybe two measures later. I'm not sure how it, how it is, but um, maybe listen to that recording and see in, in measure 10 if there is a, r a round going on there where it's like an echo. It would almost sound like an echo. Okay, in measure 10, it has that um, tika rhythm we haven't used in a while. Um, so measure 10, everybody jump your eyes to measure 10 for a second. <laughs> Warm up that little bit of measure 10 in the first note of measure 11. Okay, uh, check the key signatures so it's A natural. There are some F sharp accidentals. Challenging song. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned how to play F sharp before. It is written up on the top of the page. It was used on song four. I, I apologize that I didn't mention how to play it. You put your first, your left hand like a G. But you know how you play F with this finger? You don't use that finger, you use your third finger instead. It feels kind of awkward. So your left hand is on G, but then you use your third finger, the one that's next to your pinky, and that creates F sharp. F is like this, but F sharp is like that. It's higher sounding than F, so let me play you an F and then I'm gonna play an F sharp. <laughs> So now I'm going to play three notes in a row, F, F sharp, G. Try it, everybody. Okay. All right, so down to heroes and villains. It starts with a hopper pickup. So I'm going to lead it off with one and two. Hopper ta. Hopper ta is the beginning of it. So everybody warm up some G's. Remember to do the first ending, second ending with the repeat. I'm going to lead it off with one and two. One and two.
kind of a cool song, kind of challenging song, kind of a challenging song. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, just listen to the video, move your fingers. And then, you know, eventually I hope you try it with me. And remember, that one has a recording that goes along with you with it. I encourage you to try that too. That was lesson seven.